Hey, this video is to honor you, Brother Steve. Uh, this is very similar to what I said today at the church picnic uh, to commemorate the retirement of your 30 years of ministry at Tabernacle as our youth minister and missions pastor, and then also the years before that that you served in Louisiana and Tifton, Georgia, um, as a youth minister there to those people. When you came to Tabernacle, I was in the 10th grade, just at the start of 10th grade. And so, you know, I'd been in the youth group for a few years before. And as I um, said, we had a pretty good youth group. We had young people who loved Jesus. We loved to sing. We had a good youth choir. Um, and we did mission trips and youth camp and all that. But when you came, you really uh, stepped up the game, so to speak. <laughs> Um, especially when it came to the mission trips, teaching us to study and prepare and have the tools that we needed to really lead in those mission trips, uh, to lead people to Jesus, to sign up for uh, a missions team, you know, whether it be ensemble or uh, puppets, I did the puppets, or clowns, or uh, all the other various tech, you know, the various different ministries that people did. And um, so... That really carried over for a lot of us into just teaching us to pursue diligence, I guess, in our walk with Christ. Teaching us to approach our own walk with Christ as something to be cultivated, to learn God's Word, to do our best in service to Christ in the various ministries that we participate in. And I know it, it has carried on into my life into adulthood and and I see the fruits of it in my children and them participating in some mission trips and enjoying that and wanting to do more I hope that they really have a love of missions as they get older because you really fostered that in me um, in my time in the youth group there was a quote that I shared today and it was uh, like I said originally a Friedrich Nietzsche quote but made famous by Eugene Peterson, a Christian author. And it was, well, not a quote, it's like a little tagline, actually, just a long obedience in the same direction. I think Eugene Peterson wrote a book with that title, A Long Obedience in the Same Direction. And that's that describes so many people in our, in our faith throughout history, people like Abraham, Moses, Stephen Combs. <laughs> so... I thank you for that long obedience in the same direction, that faithfulness and steadfastness that you brought to the youth ministry and then to missions. And I think one of the biggest telling factors of uh, to, to show the impact that you have made is the fact that we never had a missions pastor before you kind of created that job. And now you have helped to oversee the hiring of a, the, the person who will replace you as you're retiring. And so the missions pastor position at Tabernacle lives on and so I think that's that's very telling of the impact that you've had uh, to bring the idea of going to reach people with the gospel uh, through missions really to the forefront of people's minds and hearts at Tabernacle so I thank you for that and I thank Miss Tonya I did not get a chance to really speak to her and I really appreciated at the picnic that um that, you know, Melissa Jordan, Melissa McMillan, uh, took the chance to do that. I thank you so much, Miss Tonya, for always just being so bubbly and full of, of happiness and joy and humor and really being very much participatory in everything that Steve did with us as, as a leader, um, helping to lead and helping to just really take part in those times of preparation and preparing us and just making it really fun for all of us to participate. And um, so thank you also to Miss Tonya for coming alongside Steve all these years of ministry. We, I love you both, and I thank you so much for, for what you've done for me in my life. 